Hey guys, Miss Archuleta here. I'm going to show you today how to set up a document in perfect MLA format. So remember, anytime you type anything for class, this is the format that you will want to set it up in. And every little thing that I show you will matter, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I like to use Google Docs. That way I always have it no matter where I'm at and I can always work on it, which is a good thing for you to keep in mind. The first thing I'm going to do when I go in here is I'm going to change my font to Times New Roman. Now some teachers might allow you to use other fonts like maybe Arial, but for my class we're going to use just Times New Roman, okay? And it needs to be 12 point font. So that's the next thing I do. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to line spacing, double space. Now some people like to type it all out and then go back and select all and then double space, but the problem is that's a little bit dangerous because a lot of times it's set up for 1.15 automatically. And if you do that and then you go back and double space it, then it won't actually be double spaced. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to insert, header and page number, header. So we have our little cursor blinking up here and we need to right align it. Okay. And you make sure it's, make sure it's half an inch down from the top. We have to change again to Times New Roman, 12 point font, put your last name, space, go to insert again, header and page number, this time we're going to page number and you want to choose this one. And there we go, now that number will change on each page. Now if you just type the number one in there, then every page is going to be page one, so it won't be set up correctly. Okay, now it's time for the author info. So what you want to do here is put your first and last name because this is your work. Push enter one time, put your teacher's name. That's me, Ms. Archuleta. Next, you wanna put your class name. I'll put advanced English 10. And then, um, so for our class, please make sure you don't abbreviate it, write it out completely. And then you're going to write the date. For me, it's the 23rd of July. 2019. Now you'll notice there's no punctuation. The day comes first. Now if it was the 3rd of July, you would need to put a zero before the three because you have to have two digits no matter what. Okay. So the next thing you're going to do is push enter one more time. You're going to center align and this is where you put your title. So remember your title should not be underlined. It should not be bold. It should not be italicized and it should not be bigger than the rest. It's Times New Roman 12 point font. There shouldn't be any space above or below, no extra space. So you're just gonna press enter one time and one time only. You're going to move over your cursor over here to the left alignment and you're gonna push tab one time. And every new paragraph you need to indent this way. And then you're going to start writing here, okay? So that is the perfect MLA format. If you have any questions, obviously, you can come on to tutoring um, and I will help you set it up one-on-one. -on -one. All right, guys.